It's the season of giving, but as a buyer, you need to be aware. One whistleblower says a business ripped her off with a bogus gift certificate. Valley News Team's Ryan Laughlin has what you need to know when dealing with gift cards. I'm very upset about it. Around Christmas time last year, Karen Krantz got this card. Well, I think they ripped off a sick woman, actually. She says just days after she was gifted a $50 certificate, the restaurant abruptly closed. They had to have known. The card was from a dying friend, in it, a gift certificate to the Dog House, a restaurant in Deep River Falls. We never even got the chance to try and go eat there because they closed right after New Year. She says she tried to contact the owner multiple times with no success. The friend that gave her the card now passed away. She says she wants to give the money back to her friend's family. Now she feels... Ripped off. Real ripped off. She wants others to be wary of businesses that may be closing their doors when buying gift cards. Thief of Falls, Ryan Laughlin, Valley News Live. Multiple attempts to contact the restaurant owner were unsuccessful. If you find yourself in a similar situation, you do have some options. If you used a credit card to buy a gift card, some credit card companies have policies that will refund you money, even if the business doesn't. The only other way a business might honor a gift card is if they file for bankruptcy. According to MarketWatch, there are around $1 billion worth of unused gift cards every year. As we mentioned, this story came to us through our whistleblower hotline. If you need help with a serious issue in your community, call 701-237-6576 and leave your tip. We'll do our best to get to the bottom of it.